Hey everyone, what's up? So in this video, I'll be showing you how to smooth the action on the Mosin Nagant rifles. These rifles were hastily made and there are tons of rough marks and machining marks. As you can see there and everything which is hastily put together to put towards the war effort. So rough edges and machining mark doesn't make for a smooth action so I'm going to break the bolt down and then I will start working on the parts. So I'll take the bolt apart and then I'll show you guys what you need to do. Okay, for the, so the first thing you want to focus on is the firing pin. As you can see, this doesn't look too smooth and there are some machining marks on it. So what you're going to do is I got some 400 grit sandpaper and then I'm going to use this and I'm just going to go back over it with a thousand grit and then I'll polish it after so I'm going to hit this with some of the sandpaper and then I'll go back over it with some polish okay so I'm just going to hit this with some 400 grit So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to go back over it with the 1000 grit and then I'll get back to you. Okay so I threw the firing pin in my drill and using it as a, as a lathe and the polish I'm going to use is never dull. The reason I'm going to use this is because it's a wadding so I can just take a piece off of my hand and polish it up. Let me show you what I mean. You want to wear gloves when working with this because this is some nasty stuff, so protect yourself. So this is what I'm doing. just going to give everything a good polish. Another thing you want to do is to remove the extractor. There can be cosmoline inside there and it can cause your cases, it can cause a sticky bolt. So grab yourself a punch, I might get a bigger one. So if I punch, sorry, sorry if I'm blocking you guys. Give us some gentle pressure and it should. Let me see if I can move you guys over here. Can you guys see that? There we go, and she's out. Take a look that there is cosmoline in there, so that will cause sticky bolt. Go ahead and give that a good clean, and you will want to polish up this area right here, the part that goes over the rim of the case. Just makes it smoother and less friction. Okay, so I hit the the uh, extractor with some sandpaper and that never dull polish. Okay, now it's time for a reassembly. Basically just reverse of the installation. I'm just going to give it a couple wraps with my plastic mallet. There you go. Another place you'll want to focus your attention on is is these areas right here. As 
if you can see it's a little rough there are machining marks and this is where a lot of friction happens because these two pieces are rubbed together so do the same process hit them with some sandpaper and polish if you want just take off some of the light burrs and smooth it out okay next thing you need to be sure that your bore is clean and free of cosmoline and ideally you want to use some sort of a polishing compound such as uh, JB Borbright uh, such as JB Borbright but I don't have any of that so I'm just going to use some ballastol I got a 20 gauge bore brush in my electric drill motor I'm just going to spray some ballastol on here and give it a good scrubbing I'm going to spray a little bit more ballastol on here. Then I'll go back in. Okay. I'm going to throw a patch down there and see what it looks like. Okay, so I put a patch puller on my drill and I'm just going to get everything that was in there. Yep, you can see that there was all that cosmoline in that in the chamber which will cause your cases to stick so I'm gonna run a couple more through until it comes out clean and you should have a smoother bolt 